It was a dramatic warming, that's for sure. Um, and, you know, it's been known that that had something to do with the extinction, but what we really uh, showed, I think, newly is that it also came with this geographic difference in the risk of extinction. Did you get any of it? No, I missed all Oh, there's some. That was so bad. I missed it all. That was There's some more. Oh, it came all the way. Yeah. Holy shit, I saw it when you were I wonder if someone hit it. I don't know. Oh, there's some more. Oh, there's some You know, people think about uh, you know, greenhouse gases, they think about climate change, they think about weather-related events, things like that. Doctors, the public health community looks at it from a public health standpoint. You're talking about this, these particulates. Air pollution is essentially these small little particulates. You can't see them. They're about one thirtieth the size of a hair, and they're out there in the air you breathe. I think most likely the, the form of government on Mars would be somewhat of a direct democracy where um, you vote on issues, where, where people vote directly on issues instead of going through representative government. In, in, you know, when the United States was formed, representative government was the only thing that was logistically feasible. その相手をしてるっていうのが通説だったらしいんですよ。僕はそっちを選ばずにこうデートするものを選んじゃったんですね。あの、死ぬ準備をしてたんですよね。a pessimist but it's my sense that it's not supposed to look like that in the night sky under there at the center of the picture there again is the splashing it's one thing to go into the future knowing that you're changing the oceans at a global scale uh, it's quite another to know that the extreme end point of those changes is the same thing that happened in the past and had really dramatic impact on the survival of large numbers of species. Uh, so there's an up on the storm front here. It's actually really terrifying. Um, it started hailing again. I got past the blockage uh, with the tree being cut up across the road, but uh, I started driving again and then it just started pouring and the second storm has hit and there's it's been hailing and I couldn't see a couple of metres in front of me and there was nowhere to pull over because those sides of the roads are flooded and trees are coming down everywhere. Um, and there's, it's terrifying. My daughter's waiting for me. I told her to stay somewhere safe. So a heat wave now hanging over Australia. Temperatures much higher than normal for this time of the year. Tom Sater joining us now with yeah. the details.
just got back. I got back uh, Tuesday. Yeah, and, from uh, Sydney. I Not so bad, from right? Sydney. Missed the, missed, it, was, yeah. Yeah, it was all right. Um, there is a typhoon that is brewing off the coast uh, uh, between Australia, Japan, Philippines. And because we have to leave tomorrow uh, for Darwin and then... People need access to justice and they're getting ripped off and making it free for them is popular. Did you go to law school? I did not. No, you did not. That's what the law is. The law is about the person with the most money and resources winning. You are totally disrupting that. I think we can agree on that. Okay. Get him up here. Oh yeah. Watch this one hit the wall. Okay, so how does this thing even work? So just like a real human lawyer, you go to it, type in whatever your legal problem is, it gives you a legal document for free in under 30 seconds. And it's not just parking tickets. This AI lawyer has already helped people sue Equifax without paying a lawyer anything. Away from the track, there was another race for shelter as storms rolled across the state, bringing an almighty deluge. This man just wanted an explanation. Do you know what's caused all this? Or? Rain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I gather that. <laughs> because last year and a half, uh, they've been inviting me to speak in uh, all sorts of artificial intelligence conferences in the world. I was just surprised, why are they asking me to come and speak about artificial intelligence because I am not an expert in the field, nor am I an artificial intelligence Unlicensed bands in 120, 180 gig and beyond. So why not use those those bands too? So we're going to go up higher. There's the co-design of the algorithms, and then algorithms are robust. So what if you know this is my phone here, and I cover up if the array is the size of my finger, and what if what if I put my finger on the array? What happens? Well, you get no signal because millimeter wave doesn't go through your finger, especially at 60 gigahertz. So the main reason for millimeter wave for next generation 5G. So I asked them in one of the conferences, it was in St. Petersburg, I said, why are you guys inviting me to all this artificial inter intelligence conference? System, uh, it, it has a, a range of uh, non-lethal capability that we can't even come close to with any of our fielded systems today that are in our military Most forces. described it as feeling like a hot oven or grill being opened Most up. Most of South Australia is braced for a severe three-day heatwave expected to hit today with temperatures reaching into the 40s.
this. I am a natural intelligence, not an artificial intelligence. They said, uh, the problem is, what are we going to do? We're going to lose our jobs? Because everything that we know, everything that was sacred till now, suddenly is going to be there on a little gadget. You must understand this, what artificial intelligence means. Well, researchers at Harvard University have announced advances in unautonomous flying microbots or robo-bees. Now, let us go further and let's them, let's allow them, which we are talking, to reproduce themselves because one of the things that they're looking at is to give them the ability to colonize, translation, swarm. Maybe in view of colony collapse disorder, Alex, to pollinate plants. Let's go a step further. With artificial intelligence comes the desire and the ability to replicate itself using, believe it or not, Wi-Fi technology. With us. And I'd like to thank the Navy for all their, uh, their help because we couldn't have done it without them. Or we could, but it would have not been a good movie. And I actually think that we have a really great movie. I'm very excited about it. But they were incredibly, in, not just helpful, but gracious and kind. You were fantastic in, in, in hosting us in, in, in Pearl Harbor and the help of uh, Russell Coons and, and, and Caleb Kerr, who was our advisor. Um, so, I, again, just like to reiterate that, that it was... Um, it was, a, it, was um, uh, it was a beautiful partnership.